Welcome! In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Pad and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now you can see right off the bat uh, I do have this device locked so it's telling me to draw uh, your pattern, the previous one and to verify the previous user or I can press right here use Google account instead to verify it through Google account as the alternative option. But assuming I don't know either of those. Hello, there we go. Assuming I don't know either of those, uh, I'm just gonna simply bypass this. So to get started with the bypass, I'm gonna back out, I get here. And this is where you want to progress. If you're at the very beginning of the setup uh, and you know the device is locked, you can just progress through it, get to your network here, connect to your Wi-Fi, and from there, back out again to the first page. Actually, it looks like we don't get to go to the first page. I'm looking specifically for the assistant options, but it looks like it's not here. So um, we need to access it in a different way. So let's hold volume up and down. And select turn on. Hold them again. And there we go. Talk back on. Held volume keys. Talk back turned on. I will mute it now. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to talk back. Now this is not a requirement. I like to mute it just because it's a little bit too distracting to me. So it helps me just focus on this a little bit more. Anyway, I want to have this page open as you can see right over here. Uh, it has a green outline. Anything in that green outline will be read by the talk back. That's why I kind of like to mute it. Uh, and you will be selecting different things throughout uh, at least while, while we're using it so it, like I said it might be just distracting but uh, if this outline or if the text is right here selected that's good uh, if you have something else selected just tap again on the text to select it and then draw a mirrored L like this on a screen from there you will select while using uh, this app there we go then double tap on it and single tap use voice comments and before you double tap on it i'm going to quickly tell you what you need to say because this will be uh you need to verbally say it to the device so uh you'll double tap on it you will most likely hear a uh, beep at which point you want to say open google assistant then you will hear two more beeps one that accepts your comment and the other one for uh, google voice assistant that it's now listening to you once the second beep goes you want to say open youtube and then it should open YouTube. So I'm gonna do this right now and you can hear how to do it and also see. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Now I hope you could hear all these uh, three different beeps throughout the thing, uh, throughout the process. Uh, obviously they were there. If you do need that uh, auditory indication where you when you need to speak you can just crank up the volume uh, to have those beeps uh, significantly louder anyway once you have your YouTube open you want to hold again volume up and down at the same time talk back off. and this will disable talkback meaning we can now use the display normally and from here we're gonna navigate to account and then uh, we're gonna go into help and feedback and in the search bar, you want to type delete. And this will bring up a suggested option called delete, disable and manage unused apps on Android. Click on it. From there, you want to select right here the first step. Tap to go to application settings. Let's give it a second. There we go. And you want to start off with the very first app, Android Setup. So click on it, select for stop and OK. Additionally, what I recommend doing right now before we progress any further is tap on your volume and then select to mute it. There we go. So I did select to be silent. Um, the reason for that is next thing that we need to turn off is Google Play services. So just scroll down a little bit further. Google Play services. And once you select disable, disable app, 
it closed it, don't worry, that's, I guess that's normal here. Then click on it again because we also need to force stop it. And now, once you force stop it, it would start giving you just a constant notifications that uh, the device cannot connect to Google Play services. It is very distracting, so I do just recommend turning down the volume or turning it off completely, uh, which will just prevent you from hearing that annoying constant like notification sound. Okay, so we have turned off Google Play services. Let's go back once again. And we're now looking for settings. So just flip all the way down and you'll find settings right here. Then you want to select open. And from here, we are looking for additional settings, accessibility, accessibility mini, and simply enable it. Allow. And okay, as you can see, it brings this little icon right here. Okay, so we turned off and also added everything that we need to now uh, get past the, uh, the verification portion. So what we need to do now uh, is hold power button and select reboot. Now the reason we're rebooting the device is because we wouldn't be able to get back to the beginning of the setup using the back button. At one point, the back button will not be accessible, uh, where you just don't have any kind of buttons at the bottom, and also you don't have this like back arrow right here, so we would be stuck, and we need to get back to the setup. So rebooting the device is the easiest and uh, well, also the fastest and the only way to get back here. Okay, so... Once the device booted up, it automatically started from like next page, I believe, where it tells me to select my keyboard, or that's, I believe, where I started off the process. So it's like two pages in. It doesn't really matter. If you're on the first page, just continue through the setup. Again, I am still connected to network, as you've seen. Select don't copy. And now we are at the point where normally, normally because this is not a normal situation, uh, we would get the verification portion of the setup. But because we have turned off Google Play services, the device cannot check uh, what state this, phone, this tablet is in. So it's just checking for updates. Just a second goes back to checking for updates. It never will leave past this until we do something. So let's do something. And what you want to do is click on this button right here, the accessibility menu that we've added. You're gonna select Google Assistant. And from there, you want to select, let me just quickly check if everything is going. Yep, so we're gonna select this. Nothing will happen, so let's do that again. Settings, nothing happened. Oh, okay, I did manage to enable it. So now... I'm right now not exactly sure if I can go back because it's the only thing I can do. So I'll try this. And it worked, okay. Uh, now the reason I say uh, or I was a little bit lost is because normally when you enable Google Play services, uh, the page should stay open, the one where you had the enable button right over here. and. Once it's enabled, you just want to go back and it wouldn't give you that pop-up that you've seen for me. So it would just check for updates and go to this page on its own. But as you've seen, it didn't do for me. Uh, I think it was something uh, along to do with when I enabled it, it automatically was closing it. So it kind of glitched out. But no matter what the case for you is, if, if you manage to enable where you see enabled uh, and you're still on the Google services page, go back if you've seen that uh, the Google whatever I had right there again go back and in both cases it will go to the next page like this 
And from here, we can now finish up the setup. As you've seen, we bypassed the verification portion of, of the setup. So right now we can just choose whatever we want. I will though, add to this. Right now you can choose whatever you want, but it doesn't really matter. Just select whatever is the quickest for you. We still need to perform a factory reset of the device to get rid of uh, all the protection that is on this device. Because we just kind of skipped over it, but it is still present on the phone, on the tablet. So I'll show you where you'll find the last step. Once I get access to the home screen. Come on. Okay, there we go. So you want to open up settings. From here, scroll all the way down to... Is it all the way down? Let me quickly make sure. Nope, it's not. It's the very first option, about tablet. And here you'll find factory reset. You want to select erase all data. Factory reset. Then we get 10 seconds of our life wasted right over here before we can press next, just so we are aware that it will remove all the data from the device. Uh, and then once we press next, you have another 10 seconds wasted before you can confirm it. So you do want to press on this OK. I won't be going uh, through with it, but this is the last step you wanted to do. Uh, reason for this step, why you, why you want to do it, even though you are you have access to the home screen is, like I mentioned, the tablet is still locked. It still has the previous pattern that was utilized for me on this device and the previous Google account. But when you have access to a home screen, as you would know, as we have right now, and you perform a factory reset of the device through settings, the device automatically removes all kinds of protections that are put on the device because it expects that if you have access to your home screen, this is your device. Even though, like I said, it's still is technically locked this will just remove all those protections from the device and you want to do it as a last step just so it's fully unlocked now i'm not going to go over it on the video just because once you press on ok uh, the tablet turns off reboots and factory reset itself in a background which takes a couple minutes to finish up once it's completed you will then be presented with setup screen at that point the tablet is completely unlocked and you can go through the setup however you want by adding your Google accounts or not, setting up some screen locks if you want to and selecting whatever uh, you want as your search engines and so on. So with that being said, this would conclude the bypass and also how you can do it in a relatively easy way. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.